Stephen, the Macaluso study from University of Rome has a significant impact on ACL rehab, right? Sure. Traditionally, we only start functional exercise much later, after restoring ROM and strength. But this may not be translated into functional movement in the field. Now, many sport medicine key opinion leader preach on the peridium shift, meaning to start functional exercise as early as possible and continue throughout all phases. Yes, we would all agree. But with pain, edema, and loss of joint sensation, how? The new programs of the wireless NMES allow functional exercise in all phases with different goals. Just stay with the goal and be creative. Really? You mean we could even start exercise immediately post-op? Yes, capillarization program can be used to reduce pain and edema immediate post-op. Then progress to atrophy program to break muscle inhibition and get muscle ready for further training. Early muscle activation is critical to avoid inhibition. But is this safe? The four point of leverage brace acts like a safety belt for the tibia, protects the graph and provides a safe environment for exercise. So, no worry. This patient is so engaged with exercise. The wireless NMES ACL program first recruit hamstring before quads to protect the graph. That's why it's safe to do open chain exercise starting second phase of rehab to train on proprioception even before weight bearing. Wow, this was impossible before. We can start the fever study protocol from 15 to 60 years day post-op. We can also add in perturbation like this, or even better on Hoover 360 to establish proprioception, which is the foundation of functional exercise. This fever study protocol achieved nearly 100% of strength and loading symmetry. Could you explain loading symmetry? Lower limb symmetry is not only achieved by strength, but more importantly by voluntary control of the muscle activation, meaning train the brain to fire muscles to achieve dynamic knee stability. Then, athlete can safely return to sport, less risk of re-injury. Yes. Core stability is also essential for dynamic knee stability. Therapists could add assistive tools such as resistant band, feet ball, suspension sling with wireless NMES to train on full body coordination. We can see alignment, strength and stability have been established together. Most importantly, we've improved voluntary control. What is this gentleman working on? After PASS is established, athletes continue with sport-specific training with wireless NMES. Further translate improved the strength into gain. That's great! So this is the end of rehab? No. From neuromuscular perspective, if you don't use it, you lose it. That's right. That's why we need continuum of care.